Hey folks, this is Roger with Tailgunner Kennel in Mankato. What we're going to talk about today is how to make transition from your leash training into electronics. And the most important thing that you need to understand is that the collar is not uh, designed to teach a dog a new command, it's designed to reinforce a command that he was already taught with a leash. And again, it's not used as a punishing tool either. We don't want our dogs to become collarized because they're afraid of the collar when the collar's around their neck. So we want to make sure that they understand how to communicate to us with the help of a sport dog collar. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back through all of our commands on leash with the transition into electronics. So what I want my dog to do is to go into the kennel to shut the collar off. So I'm going to walk him up, I'm going to put the button on, and I'm going to say kennel, kennel. As soon as he goes in, the collar shuts off. When I want him to come to me, I say here, good boy, the collar shuts off. Again, we're going to walk back into the kennel, kennel, the collar is on until he goes in the box. It stays on until he gets in there. When I want him to come out, I say here, and the collar goes on and off real briefly. So what we're doing is we're communicating to him on how to turn the collar off. So if he truly understands, I can push the button down and say kennel, he goes right in his box. And that's an important step because we want the dog to be able to go forward and to come to us when it comes time for handling later on in the duck field. The other thing we want the dog to do is to sit down here. So we want the dog to sit to shut the collar off. And that's a real important step is that he learns to be able to sit down to shut the collar off. I don't want him to come to me at this point, I want him to sit down at this point. Later on when you're in waterfall training and you push the button on your collar and tell your dog to sit down so you can make a left or right cast, he understands he's got to sit remotely in the field. We don't want him to come to us at this point, we want him to stay out there and sit down. So the dog has to understand how to turn the collar off by listening to the commands that was given. The other thing we want the dog to do Come here, Hunter. Come here, Samson. So you get up on a platform, sit. And by teaching him to sit on a platform and stay steady on a platform will help us later on in our transition to steadiness to gunfire and steadiness to birds. So we want him to get up on a platform to shut the collar off, stay on the platform to keep the collar off. If I pull up on his head, he shouldn't lift his rear end off of that. He should be able to stay steady. But if I want him to come off, I say heel, and he steps right off. I walk back over here. Come here, Samson. Sit. As soon as he sits down, I take my finger off the button and I shut the collar off. Now, when you're doing these transitions, you want to take one thing at a time. Work on your kennel for a few days until he understands. Work on sitting for a few days until he understands. Work on the platform for a few days until he understands. You're not going to do all of these drills the same day every day. You're going to work on something a little bit different each time. So again, when you're making transition from leash training into electronics, you've got to take it one step at a time, but use the collar and the leash together until the dog understands. This is Roger from Tailgunner Kennel. Thanks for listening. Here I am out on the road 18 weeks.